America is waiting for a call back from the House of Representatives. The Senate passed a bill to crack down on robocalls back in May. But folks are receiving more robocalls than ever before, and they want something done about that annoyance. KCA United's Jesse Tenner reports tonight. The legislation would not only block robocalls, but further fine and prosecute bad actors. And it's picking up rare bipartisan support. Nearly half the calls you get on your phone may look like someone you know. They're made to look like they're coming from your neighborhood, your community, your street. We already helped thousands of deserving people. But they're actually a robocall. It's beyond being a nuisance. Frankly, it's a safety and security issue. While these calls are often just an annoyance, in many cases, they're used to trick people into giving out personal information or money. That's why Tennessee Congressman David Kustoff is sponsoring the Bipartisan Trace Act to track down and punish phone scammers. Give the American people the relief that they need from these robocalls. The legislation would require phone companies to try to stop robocalls before they reach your phone. It would also increase fines for violators to $10,000 per call and give federal authorities more time to track down the law-breaking robocallers. The plan is so popular that in May it passed the Senate on a vote of 97 to 1. It's an issue that crosses state lines, party lines, phone lines, and unites uh, all Americans. We're giving uh, the FCC more teeth. We will get this to the president's desk. But first, the bill has to clear the House. This year, we're not doing such a good job of walking and chewing gum at the same time. Kustoff is calling on Speaker Nancy Pelosi to bring his legislation to the House floor and put the partisan issues on hold. You can protect yourself by adding your phone number to the National Do Not Call Registry at do notcall.gov. In Washington, Jesse Tenor.